Where are we going? Los Angeles! Oh gosh. I fall in love too easily. Hi, my name's Kira, and I flew to Arizona alone to meet my boyfriend for our first vacation together. We started off the trip by driving from Phoenix to Palm Springs, where we saw Frank Sinatra's house and this extravagant property. Kudos to the mad lad who lives here. This house definitely captures the essence of Palm Springs. Next, we had supper at Bill's Pizza, then went for a walk around the cute little streets of the city. Spring bike. Spring bike. Spring bike. I showed off my friggin' sick parkour moves, and Chase debuted his modeling skills. There was a dog in the Starbucks! Unfortunately, I'm not 21 yet, so we had to enjoy this glorious gay bar from the outside. Literally nothing in Canada compares to the flamboyance of Palm Springs, and that's probably the saddest fact of my life. Next, we drove to Anaheim, got settled in a hotel room, and head over to downtown Disney. Our plan was to watch the fireworks, but Mr. Disney decided to cancel them. Excuse me, Walt? We waited outside in the cold for a show, and you, sir, did not provide. Instead, we walked around, and I freaked out at the Lego store, because look! These are all made out of Lego! Except for that dog. They also had this thoroughly impressive jazz band playing outside. <laughs> fear of a copyright claim from the angry YouTube gods, that's all I'll let you hear. The next day we went to Disney and California Adventure, but I already posted a whole video on that, so let's skip ahead. The following day we had breakfast at this cute little diner. The food was good and the coffee was colon cleansing. I had a wonderful time in the bathroom, but it was worth it. Next, like any Canadian tourist, I went to my first Target. I heard filming in Target wasn't allowed, so I had to limit my cinematographic experience there. Please don't ask me if that's a real word, I couldn't tell you. Then we were on our way to explore Los Angeles for a day. Stop number one, the Hollywood sign. We drove up as close as we could and then walked to one of the best views of the sign there is. As you can tell, Chase and I are professional models. <laughs> you can email me for any serious modeling inquiries. This is a reenactment of what just happened. Go ahead, go ahead. Chase, what are the odds you take a shit in the woods instead of in a bathroom? Uh, one in 50. Three, two, one, 27. 27. <laughs> I promise he didn't actually do it. Next up, we walked along Hollywood Boulevard. I had one thing on my agenda here. I wanted to find the love of my life. And I did! But this won't make us fall There is still one man we can call Danny DeVito It used to be my dream to move to LA, but after spending the day there, I'm more than happy to stay in Canada where it's clean and safe. I no longer understand the hype around moving to LA. Oh wow, who's that I see? Seeing all these handprints made me feel butterflies. The idea I was standing in a place so many famous people have been almost made me anxious. I forgot how to act. Next, we left the hustle and bustle of LA and drove to Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. If I were rich and not afraid of American gun laws, I'd definitely consider living here. We stopped at this beautiful mansion where they had toitles and a beautiful view. If you could just all, you know, subscribe now so I can one day afford to live in a place like this, that'd be really cash money of you. <laughs> Next up, we drove down Sunset Boulevard, then stopped at Rodeo Drive where my self-esteem plummeted. There were so many well-dressed, pretty people here, and I did not get the memo. How rude! After that, we drove to Santa Monica Pier for the evening. It's lime time! <laughs> I don't think it comes as a surprise, but I was really bad at this. Then, like the aesthetic enthusiasts we are, <laughs> we watched the sunset from the pier.
This was definitely in my top five for prettiest sunsets. He's famous. I think he's in a movie or something. Oh, I'm sorry. After the sunset, we hopped in the car and drove back to Phoenix. Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. I spent most of the week snacking poolside, chilling in the hot tub, or defeating the boys in 21. Okay, so I didn't win every time, but I won twice. We went to a Phoenix Coyotes game where we bought $20 nosebleed tickets. And I may have become a criminal because we definitely ended up sitting in these empty seats after the first period that we didn't pay for. <laughs> they played against the Minnesota Wild. It was a pretty back and forth high scoring game. Not only did we lose, but Chase and I didn't get on the Jumbotron, so it was a rough night. Still incredibly fun though. On my last morning there, Chase and I went on a little bike ride to Starbucks. Sadly, it was time to say goodbye to Chase, his family, and the blue ass water. <laughs> Here's to hopping on a plane and going home. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Subscribe for more random content like this, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye!